Hey guys, it's Zoe. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to say sorry that I literally have makeup and water on my top, but um, it's actually, what time? 1.14 a.m. Hey guys, it's me editing this video. I just wanted to say I'm super sorry that I'm awkwardly whispering through the whole beginning. Like, it's literally making me cringe so hard. I am like, can't even edit this right now. It's making me cringe. But anyway, I swear it gets better. My whole family was sleeping and I was like not trying to get in trouble. Also, don't make fun of me for not having AirPods, not being on that grind, bitch. One, I'm too poor. Two, if I don't have a cord, I will lose those bitches. But yeah, let's just get back into the video. And I already filmed this video the first time and I edited the entire thing and then realized that I had um, mascara smeared on the side of my face. So I was like... I'm not gonna post that. Um, we gotta refilm it. So here we are, 1.14 a.m. Gonna refilm this shit. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I'm doing an assumptions video. I am addressing all of your assumptions about me because there seem to be a lot of opinions, <laughs> a lot of rumors, a lot of assumptions about me on the internet for some reason. People just don't like me, I guess. So I was like, here's the perfect opportunity. I saw Avery Ovard film this video and I was like, perfect, I gotta do that too. So I asked you guys on my Instagram story, you should go follow me so that maybe you can be in my next video. My Instagram is silly.christina, so go follow me on there and you'll never know when you'll have the opportunity to be in my next video. I'm not gonna act like I don't know what questions are coming because as I said, I already filmed this once, but I'm still equally as scared because you guys like to come for me, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's just get started. So my first assumption, you're out of your emo dude phase. Guys, if you don't know, if you don't like follow me on my social media, then you probably wouldn't know this, but I used to be in this phase where I only liked emo guys. Like any regular guy, I was like, no, 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 no. Like I just had this thing for like emo skater boy dudes and like anybody else wouldn't do but then one of them like crushed me like crushed my soul and i was just like i can't do this anymore but now i like just pretend like i don't like them anymore but like i still secretly love them you have a belly button fetish that is disgusting i don't even know if that's a real thing but <laughs> that's disgusting so no you vape or jewel i don't know why you just seem like you would um well i got so many assumptions saying that I smoke weed or I jewel or I vape but I actually don't do any. I used to have a jewel and um I'm like 12 years old so my dad took it. Uh, he came into my room while I was charging it in my laptop and the first time I said it was a flash drive and I don't know if he actually believed it but he just like let it slide and then the second time he was like you think I don't know what this is and then he took it so my dad took my jewel but um Contrary to your beliefs, I am not a stoner. I'm not a pothead. Everybody always thinks I'm on drugs. I don't know why. Everybody's like, you sound like you're on drugs. Like your voice, you sound like a stoner. Or your face, you look like a stoner. And I'm like, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm not. The type of girl who wouldn't see the perfect guy for her if he was standing right in front of her. Okay, that's kind of true because like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I just have... I can't take a hint, honestly, that's why I don't give hints, I'm not like, take a hint, bro, like, I, when I like somebody, I'm like, hey, I like you, I'm not just like, take my hint, because I can't take a hint myself, so, you right, I guess. You like sneakers more than high heels, that's definitely true, I hate wearing high heels, they hurt my feet so bad, like, they're kind of cute, they can make an outfit, super cute, pulled all together, but... Um, yeah, I'm pretty much always wearing sneakers. They're way more comfortable. Assuming you're a person who likes waffles more than pancakes, listen, it depends on the day, okay? Sometimes I'm like, Belgian waffles? Yes, bitch. And sometimes I'm like, pancakes? Hell yeah. So, so I don't know. I go, I go both ways. I don't know. I feel like you're really good at math, lol. Oh my god. I had to retake Algebra 1 for three years because I couldn't pass it for three years. I'm probably the worst person ever at math. I don't know why you would ever think that I'm good at it because I'm just so not. That you're an LA groupie even though you live in Ohio. Okay, um, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I'm an LA groupie 
even though I live all the way in LA. What? What do you mean? You mean that I like go to LA and I like hoe around because I've actually never been to LA in my life, so false. You're very sad all the time. <laughs> yeah, true. That you're vegan. I am not vegan. I was vegetarian for like seven months one time. And then I stopped because my family's like, oh my god, you never eat our meals because they all have meat in them. So I was like, fine. I was tired of hearing them complain. So I'm like, fine, I'll eat meat again. But I just don't really like meat that much. I still don't really eat it very often. And then I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't really eat or drink dairy. Milk makes me literally like... <sighs> That's disgusting. But like the only thing that I kind of eat sometimes is cheese. And I have to take a lactate so that I don't like literally die <laughs> that you're secretly dating some famous influencer um false ew what throughout doing social media and like going to events and stuff like playlists live partying with those kind of people and those kind of guys being around those kind of guys like they just all are the same they really love themselves a little bit too much and they think that everybody loves them as well and it's just like I don't like I don't like that kind of person um, but I'm not saying like I mean I'm sure there's some like nice guys that do social media out there I just haven't found any yet so that's definitely not something that I look for in a person and by the way sorry my heater keeps making that noise and it probably sounds like farts but it's not but anyway um, no I'm definitely not even dating anybody at all so no, and I probably would never date a social media influencer because I just really am not into that. You look like a mean person for some reason, haha. -ha. I mean, I, I don't think I am, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Your mom doesn't really care what you do or wear 99% of the time. I mean, I don't really think my parents care what I wear as long as I'm not going out like literally naked. Um, I think I dress appropriately to places that I need to be dressed appropriately to. Otherwise, I don't really wear inappropriate things out of my house. So I don't think they really care. But as of what I do, I'm sure that they do care about what I do. But I just, I don't really break rules ever. So it's not like I get in trouble for doing things. So it kind of seems sometimes like they don't care what I do. But it's just that I don't do bad things. So... I don't get in trouble that you're spoiled I'm definitely not spoiled ever since I was little my parents have been like if you want something you have to buy it with your own money and I remember like even when I was little saving up money so I could buy like a DS or a DSi <laughs> like I literally bought myself DS's and DSi's I remember me and my brother did that so yeah I'm definitely not spoiled I buy like all my once on my own and then they will pay for my needs like grocery shopping and shit like that that you're a rich person <laughs> i wish i was that you have like seven exes um i've addressed this so many times before i have never even had one single boyfriend so seven hell no not even one not even one that you fuck with guys instead of getting in relationships. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not a hoe. You're probably thinking, oh, she's never been in one relationship. That means she just hoes around with all these guys. <laughs> That's literally not the case, okay? I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, I do not hoe around. You're hella blunt. You say things how it is. Definitely true. I have to sneeze, bro. I'm super tired. I'm about to fall asleep on camera. That you were popular in school. Um, I can't answer that because I have no fucking idea. Like, I never cared. <laughs> and like, oh my god. So I haven't been to school in four years. And it's so funny because I like look at the girls that I used to go to school with and how they act now. Because I'm like, one of my friends like, is friends with all them still. And she like tells me the stories, the drama. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, people are in high school acting like they are in, like, middle school or elementary school, and it's just, like, so funny to me. I feel like I matured way faster because I was never in 
the atmosphere of like a bunch of teenagers together so I never had to go through the drama of it so I'm just like way more mature than them and when I look at them I'm just like <laughs> I think they just like don't realize that when you get out of high school like because right now look how red my freaking ear is because right now their top like thoughts in their minds are oh my god I need people to like me I need to have friends I need to be invited to parties and it's just like <laughs> so funny to me because when you leave school it, like you don't even think about that it doesn't even matter and nobody cares how popular you are you just like look really dumb then like you're like trying too hard <laughs> not gonna lie you look like a baddie but deep down I feel like you're a softie <laughs> true I am a softie you're right I do have a heart way down there somewhere it has probably been crushed and broken and shattered into a billion pieces <laughs> but it's there somewhere that you find dyeing your hair therapeutic don't worry i do too lol i don't think i necessarily find it therapeutic but um when i do go through a traumatic time or event um i do tend to change my hair not because I need it, like, as my therapy, but just because I'm like, oh my god, that was so traumatic, I need to become a new person. So I dye my hair. But I think most of the times that I've dyed my hair, it's because, like, my heart is broken and I'm like, that's it, I need to be a new bitch. Like, I'm not that bitch anymore, I need to be a new bitch. And, yeah. So I usually dye my hair because of that. I think every time I've dyed my hair, it was actually for that reason. Except for when I just went brunette, from blonde to brunette. That was just because my hair was, like, dying. It would have fallen out of my head. But, like, I think most of the other times, that was kind of the reason. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I could address some of your assumptions on me. And I hope maybe you like me a little bit more now. I don't know. Maybe you hated me before. Maybe I'm okay now. Um, if you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I'm going to be uploading a ton soon and you don't want to miss out, so definitely subscribe and follow me on all my social media. They will be in the description below and I will see you guys soon. Bye!